What's up guys, welcome back to the channel Trading Simplified. I'm just showing my gains for today, then we'll, we will review the weekly gains. As you can see, Tesla, I'm up $700 today. And then going through the weekly gains, I'm gonna go to custom, and I'm just gonna change this, there you go, 619 to 623. We are up for almost $1,500 on the week, which is solid, that's what we're going for. And then this month, just alone, we are up 5,300, which is going pretty well. And as you can see, my main gains are on Tesla at 4,673. So 4,600 on Tesla, a little bit on TQQ, 399, and then 201 on SQQ, shorting the market, and 110 on Amazon. And then moving forward just to year to date, just to show it, which I don't see it here for some reason. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So year to date, we are up $14,276. What's interesting is you'll see right here is Tesla. This is my main stock I trade, and I'm up over 17,000 on it. Like if you just focus just on the symbol, you can see that I'm up just trading Tesla over 17,000. But my biggest loss is trying to short the market. And you can see I've lost almost 7,000. Actually, I have 7,200 just day trading SQQ trying to short the market. But just going to the overall gains for the year, you can see that we are up 14,276. So just having weekly goals, trying to make you know three, 400 a day, and anything over is gravy. And you can see the today's gains at 700. And that's the goal, just trying to make a thousand bucks a week. If I only trade two or three days out of the week, I just try to get an average of $1,000. And you can see the weekly gains from 619 to 623, which is nice. So the goal is 1000 bucks a week, and then we'll start distributing this money into other funds. Now let's just break down Tesla where I traded it today, just so you can see. All right, so this is the one day chart on it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see. But Tesla up here in the pre-market was 265. We woke up this morning. You can see the time frame on the bottom. You see the 4 a.m. next to the mouse. And it went from 265 down to 260. So I was already thinking weakness on this, and I was going to wait. Now let's fast forward. You see the time, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. You can see the clock. Once we got to 930, market opened. I didn't trade this part, the 259 up to 261. I waited. And I bought down here at 254. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see. And I'll show you why I bought that in a second. But if you zoom in, I had a nice move. 600 shares, 254 up to 255, and then took my profits right here. But why did I enter here? Let me just show you on the five day chart. So here on the five day chart, I was basically mapping out support and resistance right around here and I was looking at this previous low right here at 253 and then I was watching just the demand zones the supply and demand zones in this area right here right here and then that's why I entered the position because yesterday we had I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see yesterday we had a demand zone here in the 248 range it was like two days ago trading Tesla. And this is why I like just trading one stock because you can really just get to know them and know their levels. But you had a strong wick in this area at the 250. So it just touched into the 248, 249 range and bounced up. So I was anticipating that we weren't going to see, you know, a pullback all the way down to 250. That'd be a little bit higher. So I made that purchase right up there. And as you can see, Tesla looks like it's pulling back now. It's at 256. But we're done trading for the day. We made our money for the week. Goal is always a thousand bucks a week. And just looking at these supply and demand zones in the 252 to 254 range, and that's my entry. So it's just marking out the entry before in the morning, looking at the pre market where it was. Just to break down the trade even further, because I just want to be more clear, this is the area where I traded. And why did I buy? Because if you look at the blue down here, this is the RSI. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. But you'll see that the RSI is 17 at this mark where I bought. Uh, let me move it over a little bit so you can see. So right here is, you can see this blue line, it's 17 on the RSI. And that was where, so it broke below 254, went down to 253.5 or 68. 
and then the entry was there at 254 and then selling at 255 but waiting for the RSI to be super low below 20 and that was my entry could have got more points out of it but I'm happy with it all right guys so that's my weekly recap I'm just showing my channel some of my popular videos I just have a lot of videos on day trading on fidelity so definitely feel free to look through those I have growth funds MACD trade armor just all different things that you could see that will help you learn all right